How's it going guys? It's your boy Burkcrown88 coming in with a YouTube video and today we're gonna to be going over Hot Rush. I've had some people say Hot Rush objectives, they are not counting, they're not adding up. How do I even do some of the deeks or what do I have to do to score? So if you're trying to get Hot Rush objectives done and you're struggling or you're having a hard time understanding some of them or how to even do them, this video will be for you. If you're nailing Hot Rush, Ain't any problems with it. Get those packs, get the power of collectibles, get everything you need to make your team better because Hot Rush is a great place for that. But we're gonna dive into the deeks, how to do them, what you have to do to activate them, and how long do you have after to score? Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that sub button down below if you're new here, you don't miss anything in the future. But Hot Rush, let's crack into it. So you're gonna see here backhand toe drag deeks. I'm gonna show you the best way of trying to get those goals. Stride deep goals off the skate hits and passes. I'm going to go over all five of those I can get them done and the, the best way is to do them So let's get into it and then I'll go look at the second set of objectives and we'll do that right after now The best uh, way to do any of these deeks or any of this stuff will be on the easiest difficulty That you can dominate that's the hardest difficulty if that makes sense So if you're struggling go to down to rookie if you can get more points by going up go up But to get passes it has to be either forward progression. You see it pop up there. That's one pass or in the O zone. So if you're in the O zone, you can pass it back and forth. That's a bad pass. And it'll be counted as a pass. Now, if you're in your zone, it has to be forward progression. If you come back to your zone, right, and then I pass it, you know, backwards or side to side, in my zone, there's no forward progression, so the pass won't count. So if you're having trouble with passes, maybe it just needs to be a little bit of forward progression. And then hits, I'll come into their zone, I'll throw it into the corner, I'll let them pick up the puck, and then I'll throw a hit down, or hit them before they even get to the puck, because there's no penalties in, in rush, in the three, sorry, this one has penalties, but you just throw your hits, you just got to make contact, any set of body contact. So when I go in, I'll just throw the puck in the corner, grab the guy closest to the puck when they get it, and then I'll just hit him. Body check, body check, and then I'll hit him again. Sometimes they can be a little pesky with their skating around you nonsense. But, you know, you just just hit them. Doesn't matter. Just hit them. More body checks. That's a penalty, but it counts the body check. More hits, right? That's all we're doing. It's a penalty shot. You know, hopefully your goalie saves it. Big save. Big, big save. Dialed in. But, uh, but yeah, so that's how I get hits. I'll just throw the puck to them, and I'll just skate up by them, bump them, do whatever. Now, this we're going to go to the backhand toe drag goal. And the best way to do this one will be on total control. Total control will be the best way to do this because it's just the square button. Or X on Xbox, I think is square on PlayStation. Pretty sure. So you're going to get a guy on a breakaway. And when he's coming across, pull it back to where he's at. See how it says backhand toe drag shot? You want to get the goalie moving across and then cut back to where your momentum's coming from, if that makes sense. So I'll try to do it again. And just to give you a better idea or a better look. Because what you're doing is you're pulling the goalie off of the post he's on. Jeremy Roenick's not a bad choice for this one. And then you're cutting back towards your side. Just like that there. That is the best way I've found to score those. And hopefully that's that's the best way for you and it helps you out. So you want to get on your, your strong side, your forehand, your forward strong side, and you want to cut back and away. Just tapping square. You got to angle yourself with the net the right way. It'll take a minute to get used to. Don't give up on it, but uh, that is how you do it. And the best way to do it is when you're cutting across, you come back. So I'm going to give it to JR here, and we're going to go for it again, where I'm just going to cut across, but then I'm going to pull it back to my side, and just like that. So that is your backhand toe drag goal. Now remember, it might take you some tries. You only have to get five of them, so it's not terrible. Um, just stick with it. Go back into your end. You pass it to your fastest skater. You let your fastest skater go up the boards and get around that defender. And when you get around him, you pull off the toe drag. And I just missed that there, but you noticed how the goalie went to the side. If that defender wasn't so tight on me, I could have made it a little bit better. But you're going to notice when I went over here, the goalie pulls to the side. And then you pull the backhand toe drag and he gives you all that net. That's the exact animation you're looking for. I just missed the net. And you see that we've already got so much act and we've already got so much work on. We got one backhand, we have a bunch of hits, a bunch of passes. So now we got to get into the other two. We're going to start with the perform the off the skate deke. And now that is just simply you're holding your L1 and you're pulling the puck back towards you. But you're noticing I'm hitting it off my skate, but it's not doing anything because you got to get closer to the defenseman. So when I get closer to the defenseman, I'll tap it, chase it down, 
and then that's just that's your back skate right you got to get closer to the defenseman l1 or l or lb left bumper if uh, you're on xbox and then you pull the right thumbstick down and that pulls the puck towards your skate and that's how you perform that deke you just got to make sure you get close to the defenseman to activate it if you're really far away like if i go all the way down here and i try to activate it nothing's gonna happen because i'm not close enough to a defenseman but if i get closer to the defenseman boom activate it if you notice you're doing the jump deke that's what I've, I've heard a little bit of people saying they're doing the jump deke it's because you're pressing up on the right thumbstick instead of down you want to press down to get that animation and to get the deke you're looking for okay now we're going to do the stride deke and you have to score on this one so you need it to stay in the top right as long as possible so you're going to hold l1 in a coast and you're going to move the stick to the right but you have to be coasting if you try to do it when you're skating forward on the thumbstick it won't do anything so you're going to see you want to come in and you want to coast and that'll activate it and then you come across and you're going to try to get the puck in the net see how it's still up there you can still get it I, it's not up there anymore so i'm going to coast it get the stride deke try deke activated and then i'll come in look at all this time i have to get that shot off yeah, i would still be a goal so you don't need to do it on your way to the net you just need to do it and then get the puck in the net while it's still in the top right corner and again i'll go back into my end here so i have a little bit of room and space to show you what i mean when you come back to your end if you want to practice it you hold the l1 into a coast and then you just Pick whichever way you want to go with your left thumbstick. You're not touching the right thumbstick at all. When you hold L1, you're going into a coast and then pushing right, pushing left. It doesn't matter as long as you are in a coast. So I'm going to do it again in a coast, stride deke. Get close to a defender, stride deke. And then I'm going to take it to the net. Unfortunately, it got hit. It just disappeared. So I'm going to do it again, coast, stride deke come in and the goalie poked me silliness boys silliness but we're gonna get it here we're gonna get it just we're just gonna keep sticking it out we're getting the stride deke we just got to get the goal again this might be more beneficial to play on rookie if you're struggling with it i'm gonna get the puck stride deke oh no didn't activate stride deke there it is and i'm gonna take the puck to the net Try to cut across and having trouble with the ai again chelios will be able to get this here we have faith in chelios we're going to go into a stride get the stride deke go around behind the net and just like that there's your stride deke goal just like that like that wasn't you know it didn't take me a couple of minutes you got to get 20 of these now so you know get them at will get them at will and get your own pace but uh it took me a couple of minutes to get one no not didn't get it relatively quick but after you get practicing at it you get it all dialed in you would uh, you'll get it a lot a lot easier right so you get into a coast you hold l1 get the stride deke and then you got all kinds of time to get a shot off on net we still got it up but oh if i had been able to cut across with recce i could have got a goal there okay so now that you know how to do all those let's look at what the next set of objectives is and thankfully Three of them are very easy. Passes and hits, we just went over that, and score goals, score goals. So what are we gonna be working on in this one? Between the leg shots, which is more positioning, which is more positioning than anything, and loose puck deeks. So let's dive into it and see how it goes. Again, you're gonna find this one to be easier with total control, as the between the leg shot is just circle. If you can do it on skill stick, do it on skill stick, but control, total control is a lot easier. So I'm gonna pick up the puck here after, you know, the ai is just all over me but we're going to pick up the puck give it to carlton here not that it matters and i'm going to aim myself and hit circle between the legs shot on net and there's one on the board if you go straight on the goalie it's going to miss you have, have to have it off to the side so you see how i'm pointing to the corner but the puck goes to the to the side and hits the goalie so what i'm going to do is when i come in here i'm going to point myself at the goalie so you see what i mean and it kind of actually sucks it towards the net it shouldn't be doing that normally when you go to shoot it at the net through the legs if you're not lined up right it'll see there it goes it goes off to the cord that was kind of weird that it went straight to the net but we'll take it so it's just circle guys and point yourself i guess somewhere in the vicinity of the net just get yourself into the ozone and that went back towards the net but backwards so it is what it is and then just hit circle 
So it's that easy with total control. You don't have to worry about it. It's not too difficult. If you're having trouble with the AI, just throw it on uh, on rookie and just want, walk right through. But there it is right there. Through the legs. Easy as it gets. Between the leg shot. Now, loose puck deeks. All that is is the L1 or LB. Loose puck deke right there. Got to be close to the defenseman, but loose puck deke. Now, you just have to perform them. You don't have to score. You don't have to do anything. You just got to perform them. So you just want to get close to the defenseman and pick the puck up after you do it. That's that's the most important part. Because if, if another member of your team picks it up, it doesn't count. Or if you don't get to it, it obviously doesn't count. So you need to be close to a defenseman. Went the wrong way, but it is what it is. It goes against your momentum. So if you're trying to aim it, that's the best way to think about it. If, if your momentum's to the right, he'll lose puck to you to the left. We'll get this big moose. These big mascots are hard to navigate. But then loose puck deke, loose puck deke, loose puck deke. That, it's just one button. You don't touch anything else. No right stick, no left stick, no nothing. Just one simple button, and that's your L1 or your LB if you're on Xbox. Just make sure you're close enough to a defenseman that it registers. The, the moose took it there, so it didn't get it, but it registers it if you're close enough. And that's fairly far right there. That gap isn't... It's not like I'm, he's right on me, right? Like there's some distance there between everybody. So you can you can do it relatively far away. That one curled in towards us. I, that one was kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. You get the gist of it just by hitting the one LB or L1. See how far I am away and it's registering? It's not that bad. And that is how you do the loose puck deke. So there you go, guys. If you were wondering how to do all the objectives in Hut Rush, they're all right there. Stay patient, stay calm, relax. You'll get it done. It takes some time. It's not going to happen just like that. But I hope you enjoy. I hope you have fun. And I hope you get all these objectives done quickly to get yourself the rewards you want. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.